Tonight, 12 News investigates the new Pfizer COVID vaccine. So many questions swirling about it. What's the vaccine supposed to do? How effective will it be? Will it end the pandemic? Our Anastasia Bolton asked an expert. Scientists all over the world are working on a COVID-19 vaccine. How effective does it need to be for the FDA to approve it? The FDA put out a uh, set of criteria saying that it had to be at least 50% effective. The number for the Pfizer vaccine candidate is 90% is a very, very good news. Dr. Howard Koh is a professor of the practice of public health leadership at Harvard. He says these are good preliminary findings. Pfizer told us their first interim analysis found the vaccine candidate was more than 90% effective in preventing COVID-19. Which brings us to... What is a vaccine supposed to do? The hope would be that in the best case scenario, it prevents death, it prevents serious complications, uh, it prevents hospitalizations, uh, it prevents illness. Does the vaccine mean no more masks and partying like before the pandemic? We do not want FDA to authorize or approve a vaccine and everyone says, OK, we can just go back to normal and drop all the use of masks and social distancing and the hand hygiene and avoiding large crowds. I mean, we have to do this all together as a unified strategy until we can say that we have gotten this pandemic behind us. What will it take to control the pandemic? If we focus only on the U.S. and do, do not consider the rest of the world, all we're going to do is reassure that disease keeps recurring here over and over again. So that's not the way to do it from an informed public health point of view. We, we need to do this as a global community. Anastasia Bolton reporting there. And Pfizer says all vaccines are initially tested on adults. The company says it did a small study for kids between the ages of 12 and 15. Pfizer says studying the vaccine for children under the age of 12 would require a new study and potentially a modified formula or dose schedule.